Hey, what's up? This is Delio T2K. Long time no see, guys. But real quick, what I'm going to do is just show you a quick tutorial on how to do the tape stop effect on your tracks. And we're going to do this in Pro Tools 8. So let's go to the screen. Hey, what's up? This is Delio T2K with that tutorial on how to do this tape stop effect. It's really easy, really simple. And we're going to do this in Pro Tools 8. Um, just to give you an example of what the tape stop effect is, let's go ahead and play a track and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after I apply the, uh, what I like to call the tape stop effect. So we got a track right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do the tape effect on the dilly part of it. I'm going to make it go dilly. So go to audio suite, pitch shift, verify. Clicking on slow down and process it. It's really simple. This plugin is free for Pro Tools. Uh, you just got to go to the downloads at uh, thisdesign.com, which I believe now is Avid. And um, that's pretty much it right there. Hear that? So I can do another one here. Just highlight the region that you want to have the, the, uh, the pitch change on. I'm going to change it to speed up, show you what that does real quick. And the one thing I like about Pro Tools is that you can work on a grid. You can really get in and just just go to town and just just uh, just chop things up and just just chop it up and just have a good time with it. For example, like right here, I'm going to chop it up some more. So I can do a fast one right there, slow down, process it. Make it cut off right there. So you hear different effects of like this stuff is really easy and really simple. I just thought I'd share this little trick that I like to do uh, when I cut my records and uh, probably everybody does this, but I know there's somebody out here who doesn't know and I thought I'd share it with them. And I'm just playing with it just to show you what the effect does. Pitch it down there. Come back in with the clap. Delete that. Boom. Now we got this. So that's the tape stop effect. Uh, again, this, this plugin is part of the D5 series, which is now free from Digital Design. You just download that and install that. If you don't have that, you can use something called Gross Beat. And there's also a bunch of other plugins that kind of do it. But this one right here, to me, is the best one you can get to uh, do this effect with. It's very simple, works quick. You don't really have to do much to it to make it happen. And it's a great plugin. Well, that's it for the tape stop effect. I uh, hope that this tutorial will help you. You can also use, once again, you can also use uh, Gross Beat as a good way to do this effect. And there's probably some other plugins. I know you can do this on Logic, but this is the way I like to do it. So uh, thanks, guys. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more music, tutorials, and all that good stuff. Take care. Peace. Right, if I get up again.